Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start creating this reaction time test tool using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let me show you a demo of how it works. So here we can see it says reaction time test and here it says click as soon as you see the green color on the screen and we can just click anywhere to start. So the basic idea is we will have a color displayed on the screen and whenever the color changes to green, we need to click on the screen as soon as the color changes to green. So it will calculate the difference between the time when the color was shown between the time you clicked on the screen. So let's click to start and here we can see it says wait for the green color and right now it is red color. And now we can see it displays the green color and it says click now. So if I click on the screen now, we can see that this is the time it took for us to click on the screen from the time that the green color was shown on the screen. So it took us 6290 milliseconds. Now we can click to continue. And now we can see we took 333 milliseconds to click on the screen when the green color was shown. Let's try it once more. And now this screen was shown because I clicked too soon. So we need to click again to start. And now we can see that the average reaction time of the three times we tried is displayed over here. Now we have the option of trying it again. So if I click on play again, it will start the tool once again. And we can go ahead and uh, try it once again. So this is how it works. Now in this video, we will just design it using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, we will start writing the JavaScript. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called reaction time test and uh, I have opened it with VS code. Let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create a file called index.html and let's also create a CSS file. Let's name it style.css and we'll also need to have a JavaScript file. Let's name it main.js. Alright, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. Let's link our uh, CSS file over here. So I'll just type style.css in the href. And here in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So let's type script, colon src, and here I'll just type main.js. Now if you go back to our website, there are three states in our tool. This is the first state or the first screen where we have the information about this tool. And uh, we can just call it main menu. And if I click on the screen, this is the second state. So here we have the green color and the red color displayed over here. And we'll also have this screen, the too soon screen, but we'll create a single division for all of these. We'll just change the text and the background color using JavaScript. And then lastly, we have this screen, which is the end screen. And we have the result displayed over here. And we also have this play again button. So for this also, we'll create a different division. So let's go back to our HTML. And let's create a division with the class of end screen. And in that we'll create a division with the class of container. And in the container we will have this heading. So let's tap H1. And we need to type reaction time test. And then we need to have this reaction time displayed over here. So let's create a division for that. Let's give it a class of reaction time text. And we'll just add a score over here. And then we need to have this play again button. So let's create a button for that. And we'll also give it a class of play again button. And let's type play again. Right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see our design contents are displayed over here. Right now let's create the main screen, this screen right here. So let's create a division with the class of main screen or I'll just name it main menu. And in that also we will have a container. And here let's create an H1 for the heading and let's type reaction time test. And now let's create a paragraph for this text. So we need to type click as soon as you see the green color on the screen. And then we'll create one more paragraph for this click to start text. 
so let's type click as soon as you see the green color on the screen and let's create a paragraph and let's type click anywhere to start so this is how it looks right now now the last thing we need to have is uh, this screen right here so for that let's create a division and uh, let's give it a class of clickable area and in that we need to have some text so let's just type click now so this is how it looks right now we'll just add this text inside a division so let's create a division of the class of message and here let's type click now all right that's basically it with the html now let's start writing the css so let's go to our style or css file and first of all let's target all the elements and let's set the box sizing to border box so that we have the correct width and height for all the elements and now let's target the body and i'll just set the margin to zero right now let's style the clickable area and let's set the height to 100 viewport height and the width to 100 percent and uh, we will set the cursor to pointer and uh, let's also set a background color and for now let's just type lime green and uh, this is how it looks right now let's also hide these two divisions for now so let's target the end screen and also the main menu and let's set the display to none and now we can say everything has disappeared so we have some problems in the html so let's go back to our html file and the problem is that we had added the main menu and the clickable area inside the end screen so we need to cut all of this from here and we need to paste it outside this end screen division so let's paste it right here all right now we can see that our clickable area is being displayed over here now we need to bring this text to the center of the screen so here let's type display of grid and place items to the center and let's set the font size to 32 pixels and we'll set the font family to roboto and sans serif and let's set the color of the text to white all right so this is how the clickable area will look now let's style the main menu so here let's set the position to fixed and we'll set the height to 100 viewport height and the width to 100 percent and we'll set the top to zero and uh, the left to zero now we will add a class called active to this main menu and the end screen to display it so by default we need to have the main menu displayed so here i'll just add the active class and here i just type main menu dot active and let's set the display to grid and we'll also do the same for the end screen so let's type end screen dot active right now if you go back we can see that the main menu is being displayed over here we need to bring it to the center of the screen so here let's type place items and set it to center and we'll also add a background color so let's tap background and let's set it to 0 d 3b66 and let's set the color of the text to white and we'll also set the font family to roboto and sans serif and let's also set the text align to center and now we can see this is how it looks now for the main menu we will set the cursor to pointer so here we can see we have the cursor set to pointer so let's target just the main menu so let's type main menu and cursor to pointer right now let's target the container division inside the main menu and the end screen so let's type container and we'll set the max width to 700 pixels and we'll set the padding to 0 for top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and now let's target the h1 inside the main menu so let's type main menu h1 and let's set the font size to 70 pixels and we'll set the margin to 8 pixels 0 right now let's style this paragraph so let's type container p and uh, let's set the font size to 20 pixels and uh, let's set the line height to 
2 and let's set the font weight to 800 and we'll also set the margin to 0 so this is how it looks right now let's style the end screen so let's go back to our HTML and I'll just remove this active class from the main menu and let's add it over here inside the end screen and uh, let's target the end screen so let's type end screen and uh, we need to style this h1 so let's type h1 so we'll set the font size to 30 pixels right now let's style this reaction time text so we have this division with the class of reaction time text so let's type reaction time text and let's set the font size to 100 pixels and we will set the font weight to 900 right now let's style this play again button so for the play again button we have this button with the class of play again btn so let's type end screen play again btn and first of all let's set the border to none and we'll set a background color of FAF0CA and uh, let's set the font size to 20 pixels and we'll also set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and we'll also have a margin let's set the margin top to 20 pixels and we'll set the text transform to uppercase and uh, let's also set the font weight to 900 and we'll also add some letter spacing and let's set it to 4 pixels and uh, we'll also set the cursor to pointer so this is how it looks so with that we have completed the design of our website so this is how the end screen will look and uh, this is how the main menu will look and uh, this is how the clickable area will look. Alright, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will start writing the JavaScript. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.